Hello, everyone. Corey here coming in to do the weekend energy update. And this one is for the 17th. And we do have a, a, we have a new moon coming up for us as well. So we have a new moon that's happening. We have a lot of shifts that, that I've been talking about in the past few weeks. And I feel like you're really going to start to see those unfold. There's a lot happening in the sky on the earth and below the earth. There's a lot of things that are taking place right now. And I want to talk a little bit about those today. And I spoke a little bit about these on my radio show today. So if you have never been to my radio show, you go to News for the Soul Radio. And every third Friday of the month, you can catch me live and um, and you can join in on the phone lines and hopefully get chosen to ask me a question and to ask a maybe for a reading, a short, a mini little reading on there. So it's news for the soul and just scroll down and you can see all the times when I'm available, but you can also check out my archives as well there. I had to pause for a minute because I had to find what I needed, what I wanted to talk to talk about something that I discovered when I was, um, when I was trying to figure out what this energy was that was happening. Of course, I'm not an astrologer yet. Um, I am going to be starting doing some astrology training uh, to get to know more than what the what the channels like to be able to figure out the things that I channel through, to be able to put it in perspective. So, um, but we do have. So I was having a glass and I took them off. So we had this thing that I was seeing, but I didn't know what it was. I could see this bright light. Now we do have a new moon coming. And that new moon is 19th, 20th, like around those times. And so we have this new moon energy that's going to go on for days. Oh, why that just happened. My camera just moved on me. Minus the, excuse the cat hair all over me. Um, but we do have that new moon that's happening. And that new moon is a shift from the Aquarius energy of the, of the last cycle and moving into a Pisces. And I'm going to talk about that. And I'm going to bring that into the rest of this message that I have as well, because there's some really deep, deep things to this message, because there is some deep healing. But the the moon and the shift with this moon truly is about us really starting with the Pisces moon, with the fish, you know, it's that leap of faith, but it's also really accepting ourselves, really that imperfectly perfect. And it's funny because my dear soul sister sent me one of my own cards today that was Gemma. And Gemma is truly about the imperfections of us and accepting that imperfections. And so, but it is kind of coming up everywhere, but I want to read this. Sorry, I'm all over the place. I've like got this giddy energy happening. Um, you clear the glasses. And I want to read this because I didn't know how to explain this, but there is a, so there is this, um, how did it, how did it put it? So there's this, it's this where the crescent moon, it's so how the crescent moon meets up with Mercury um, tomorrow morning on the 18th. So I think that's tomorrow. Yes. So it comes from space.com. I think it was, I've seen this. Yes. So it was on Yahoo News and it was space.com and it was an article by a Robert Lee. And I want to make sure I give credit where it's due because this was, I could see, I could see this movement happening but I didn't know what it was. And, and so this is the, um, the crescent moon meets up with the solar system's fastest planet, Mercury, in the sky on Saturday, February the 18th. The closest planet to the sun and the smallest planet in the solar system, named after the Roman god of speed and messenger to, messenger to the gods. Mercury will share the same right ascension with the 28-day old moon in the sky, an arrangement called a conjunction, which would be, you know, in astrology, we're going to, we have a conjunction that's happening. According to this, according to in the new, in the sky from New York, the conjunction meets Mercury and the moon will become visible over the horizon to the south when it arises, when it rises around six. 6.01 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. The celestial objects will disappear a few hours later at around 3.49 Eastern Standard Time. And so with this, 
It was the moon will be quite bright with a magnitude of minus nine, minus 9.1, while Mercury will have a magnitude of minus 0 0.2, with the minus uh, indicating particularly bright celestial objects. And so I keep seeing, and I've been speaking about this, I just keep seeing this brightness in the sky. And I'm like, this with the solar flares that we that we just had happen and all the things that are happening, I in so in my language and the way I see it is there has been this re-entering of, and I've been calling them for so, calling this out for so long. And the only way I could put it is the is the old it's the ancient of the of the angelic realm. A a, a council of angelic beings that are returning to earth that have not had to come this way for a long period of time. Definitely feels like a seraphim type of angel to me. Definitely feels like the angels at the right hand of the right hand of God, God consciousness, whatever you want to call it. But that of great virtues, that of the great power of really truly forcing us to look deep into our own souls and at our own value systems and to look at what we value the most in life. And on my radio show today, and Nicole um, is the host who owns the radio show. And, and so Nicole and myself got talking and we started to have this conversation and we were talking about this. Um, oh my God, where's that hair hanging off me? We were talking about ADD moments. We were talking about all these things that has been coming up. And so you can listen to it on the archives of my radio show. It's at the very end. I speak a little bit in the beginning, but it's at the very end that we get into this conversation and it continues. So the radio show does go over like over the hour time slot, but we get into the conversation about, you know, what's been happening, happening and how all of these past you know, insecurities, fears, things you've previously worked on have been coming back, like really coming back and, and really making you kind of sometimes making us doubt ourselves or feel that sense of um, like uh, unfounded fear coming in. I spoke to my level ones last night about how we shift into like the old brain, like the not true self and, and going into that old brain and the old brain really doesn't think you know, it's, it's not the fact of thinking with logic. It's, it's whole mission is to go into safety, protect, to take it to, you know, preserve the sense of the old, the old self. And, and so it's like trying to bring back online. And the way that this came through for me was I've said to her, I said, the world is upside down. And there's a lot of sabotage that is happening out in the world and making it look like, oh, we don't know what's going on. But there's a lot of sabotage energy in my yearly predictions. I spoke about, I spoke about the sinister energy and how big this sinister energy is. But her and I spoke today, Nicole and I spoke about, um, and I was channeling this through earlier, and then I was just channeling it, telling it to my to my partner. And um, and so we're talking about how, you know, our our human, our imperfect human is not. We're not greater than the darkness. We're not even greater than our own darkness, even our addictions and our isms. And when we try to defeat and conquer it on a, on a, just with our human alone, it becomes an, you know, a either temporary commitment, like it's, we can either do it on a temporary level or it's almost impossible feat. But when we allow the divine, when we allow God to work through us, when we allow the, you know, the light to work through us, when we allow it to, ignite within us and to work through us that the power of the divine, the power of this celestial beings and the power of the angelic realm, the power of the wise ones and the wisdom, the divine, that of the presence of Mary Magdalene has been so great around me, is that the power of these, of this magical sense of, of this light, it's, it's, it is stronger than the darkness. But the powers we forget as humans that we that we can't do it, that that we alone can't do it. And when we think we can do it, we're trying to control it, we're trying to make it happen. So whenever we have that happen and, and through our thoughts, we're like, I just have to let this go. I just have to release this. Now we have to ask for help. 
And we need to ask for help from the divine and asking something greater than ourselves that does exist within us, that does come from within us. And it does, it's within and outside of ourselves to illuminate, to light up, to feel the essence of these divine virtues, virtuous self that had that restores the sense of value and worth and dignity. And, and just our, you know, it's restoring our integrity and bringing back the threads and the fibers. And I feel like this is what puts us back together on earth eventually here. And so the message was the world is upside down and it's the world has been so upside down. It has been filled with such sabotage that the sabotage is happening everywhere. And it's, and it's, it's this sinister energy that is, that has been sabotaging us by creating fear, by creating these false light and making it appear as if it's, if it's good light, trying to convince us of things that are not really true. It's taking beautiful people and making them so angry. They've become, they've become ugly inside and out. It is taking people who have conquered and overcome their fears and their, and their isms and their addictions and almost bringing in a sense of like drawing people back to their, to their own inner turmoil and their own inner struggles and bringing that. And it's been like reactivating and triggering this old sense of self that's been trying to get back and it's, it's trickster energy and it's huge trickster energy and through it, the divine has been speaking to us. But when we get so lost in, in our angst and, you know, our, we're overstimulated and we get overstimulated by the world and by too much time on all of these things, we get lost. And so being looking into the sense of the false light. And so the message and how it came was we literally have this power of this imposter energy. I still say it's like a Jezebel energy. It is that of, that is this imposter energy that is sabotaging souls, sabotaging those who have, you know, that are beautiful, bright lights that are these brilliant lights that bring love and light and that have worked so hard to build, build beautiful lives and beautiful relationships and to be a light. And it's definitely coming after the light workers, definitely after the light workers. And I've been saying this for several years. And those who don't understand what the Jezebel energy really means, I'm telling you, it is great and it is and it is powerful, but it is not greater than the than the presence of the divine. And so that of the angelics and the and the ones who would have the angelics who would have experienced so many things that kind of was at bay for a long time in the energy. And there's been a disruption. It's been a disruption within the earth, within the core, within Middle Earth. So there's been a um, all of this destructive energy, and it's appearing as if it is true light. It's like, oh, look at this, look at that. It's so brilliant. It's like, oh, just applaud this, applaud that. But in the meantime, it's hypnotic, and it's really truly been sabotaging souls. And I and the Fey realm keeps coming up with this as well for me. And so, you know, this, this conjunction, the way that it is, this new moon energy, I just feel like it is bringing about, um, there is a light in the sky, there's an opening, there is a breaking open within ourselves where the divine is lighting us on fire. We are igniting the passion and the desire to truly start to move beyond the saboteur to become victorious to start to see ourselves as in the, with the ability to awaken our, our inner healers within self, to open up that, that energy, to awaken your own inner healer, to really truly ask for help, ask for the, the presence of the divine and that which is around us. And for us that are light to not to hide, to not to be feeling like we can't speak because we have to be so concerned about what's coming next. Um, this trickster energy, this sinister energy is huge. Mm -hmm. I showed it in videos back months ago. I even showed a, a picture that appeared to me and the sinister exists inside of us all. We all have it, but when it's been able to hide and it can mask itself and it can appear as good, but it's that whole sense of, you know, as we do like soul revival and soul, soul retrieval work and, and we re do that soul retrieval of picking up the treasures and the best pieces of ourselves. Well, 
we're being convinced that it's like something is trying to convince us. And it's like that whispering of doubt and fears and insecurities. Be very aware of your own whispers of doubts, insecurities, things that are coming up, old habits that are returning. And just know that it's like catching it. It's like catching it in a web and in a net. And um, I myself experienced a, uh, a not so pretty nightmare. I called it last night. And I don't usually have these kind of dreams and it was not nice and it was not very good, but it became a, a huge part of my message today. And I could hear the whispers of a familiar voice. And I just could see this person saying, you know, oh, we've just, and it was like being behind, being behind some of this. So some of the people who really, truly had good intentions, who started out good, when envy and jealousy get in, when uh, the desire to become somebody, to be greater than everyone else out there, you know, that, that saying about, you know, selling your soul to be a light, to be famous or those type of things, it really does exist. And it exists within ourselves. It's what we do within ourselves to really, truly know that we can, you know, we sabotage our own light to be uh, an imposter. To, so there's a lot of imposter energy and, you know, imposter syndrome that is like active and alive and existing right now. And so it's just having such an impact and such an influence upon the world that has been turned upside down. And so a lot of the things that we're seeing, including one of the biggest sabotage things that happened in the ocean, which we did call that as well, but we didn't know exactly. And how it was, you know, how the government was involved. And, and it was, and so we have these, we have these, we have sabotage everywhere. And sabotage the is in this the psyche of our archetypes. We all have a saboteur that exists. And so when we start to believe we're a victim, when we feel like that sense of you know, it's one thing to be victimized, but to identify yourself as the victim and to create the mold, the whole identity of a victim, like you, to live by that, to create the victim identity and have that sense of then always in from a place of mistrust, can't trust the world, the world is against us, everybody is against me, that plays in the mind and it starts to create an, an identity that then creates a story and it is time for us to be able to change those stories. And this, this healing of that wounded child, that inner child, that, that inner self, that even if you were half, half did the work before, it's time to bring it full circle and to be able to see that self, to bring in that healing on a deeper scale, on a deeper level, and to just know that we are so, we are so in, surrounded by such divine light and love that there is a powerful presence that is with us and it's also bringing in the angels of death so there is some there is an ending of this old energy this old this old paradigm energy like there's just this big that's the only word i can find for it i don't think that's even the word i really want it to use but i'm like give me a word and so it's the it's so that there is that big ending that is coming with this. And I just keep writing all the since Nicole and I spoke today on the radio show, I just keep writing the word love. And I have not wrote out the word love in such a long time. And really truly like that, like drawing it out. Love, 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 love. And so this, I feel like this conjunction and this moon. And all that is happening is like, is like the bringing in our ability as a human to start to understand love on a deeper level. And then the unconditional love. So angelic realm is an unconditional love. It is that of the bestest virgin version of ourself and that it all exists within us and that we all have the ability. If we can really truly see ourselves as in, you know, up in the ante on ourselves and on the sense of worth and value and really moving beyond creating creating the 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 victim the victim mentality within a collective within it with society and I'm like this is the the shadow the collective of the shadow that's 
really truly take an effect. But on the other side of all this, which you don't see, which is harder to see because it, it's so well hidden because the sabotage on the souls is so deep. It's happening on such a big level that it's, you're not seeing all the good. There's so many good things that are happening. So many good things that are taking place. So many people that are standing up and letting their light shine, be in a bright light. It is just like when you see the, the sinister energy and the saboteur that is, that is like coming like the, the salesman knocking on the door or, you know, like a, the the religions knocking on the door and you know hey you know i remember being young and like turn the lights down don't let anyone know we're home and so that we don't have to talk to them and so it's like when you when you go to talk to that person then they try to you, they keep you talking and they try to convince you to buy into what they're selling and you don't have the courage sometimes or you don't want or we're too nice sometimes to say no just no and so this is exactly what this energy is like. And so this getting into us and, and getting into our, our psyche and into our souls and into, into ourselves and arising this energy is because we didn't stop it at the door because we tried to hide. We tried to turn our lights down. We went into hiding instead of, which we should have done in the very beginning. We should have turned our lights on brighter, should have turned the lights all the way up. We should never have hid. We should have said no in the very beginning. In the very beginning of when all of this began, we should have put our hand up and said, no, no, we're not buying it. We're not buying into it. And we're not accepting this. And there's more to the story. And so we didn't. And we now we're now, now there's a shift though. Now the shift's happening. So it's like, turn the light up bright, let them see your home, let them see a shine, let them see the light and, and to turn it up all the way up and just not even answer the door, just yell through it. No, don't even, don't walk on my doorstep. Don't come up my path. Don't come in and keep those boundaries and keep that energy apart and away from us. So this shift, this energy, and all of this is truly about us being able to really step into be in the victor, be in the inspiration, be in the bright light and be in the love. Where can you be that this weekend? Where can you show up in your world? And where can you truly allow yourself to, you know, show yourself unconditioned love, be kind, be gentle, less judgment, less criticism, and truly just allow the light to shine this weekend. Much love. If you love these messages, please subscribe. Yeah, it sounds a little bit crazy, but that's okay. There's a lot of this happening. Um, you can also follow me on all of my social media links and they're all in the link down below and on my website, you can go to coreythorn.com. Much love. Have a beautiful weekend and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.